morning. Welcome to Winnipeg. Now, if we hadn't have had the problem with the paint peeling off the back of the case yesterday, we'd probably be starting the submarine this morning. At least that's sort of the way I saw it could have gone. As it turns out, that wasn't meant to be. Okay, so here's, here's the plan. Oh, first of all, uh, last night, uh, or late yesterday afternoon, I put the first coat on the patches, and then uh, early, earlier this morning, I put the second coat on. So, uh, in fact, looking at it right now, even though I know where to look, I can just barely see where, where the uh, paint peeled off, at least from this distance. No, when you get up close, sure, you're going to be able to see it. Except that in all likelihood, they're going to be covered up with the ships because the ships are going to be stacked one on top of the other with probably very little, <clears throat> very little distance in between the top of one mast and the bottom of the hull of the next. And yes, I know, uh, it's, it's, it's uh, not the best way to view them, but I don't have to build another case. Uh, at least not for a while. I don't know what I'm going to do about a case for the, <clears throat> excuse me, for the submarine. Uh, it, it uh, well, for sure, it's not going to go on that one. Uh, even, even on the bottom, like where the, uh, where the, where I've got the books, you know, it's because the submarine is, I think about, oh, uh, 10 or 15 centimeters longer than the, than the case is wide. So anyway, um, so uh, what, what are we going to do here this morning? Well, the plan is I'm going to use these existing brackets and I'm going to cut them instead of one long piece. I'm going to have three shorter ones. And, and I was thinking that what I could do is envision this. I, I take the uh, USS Iowa and I put it on the bottom shelf. Then I, I very carefully with my with my square, I put the the back of the square against the back of the case, and and I I, I see where where the uh, top of the highest mast of the Iowa comes, and and then make a little mark on the back of the case, and then and then take my little my little bracket which I will have cut, and just put it to that line, and then and then and this part will will be the. Uh, I'd like to I'd like to uh, use these uh, that have the little uh, strings attached to them, so they sort of cushion the bottom. Anyway, I think you get the idea of what I'm planning to do. I I probably if I'm smart, I won't try to video doing it. I know I keep saying that, and then and then after I get into something, I think, well, you know, if if I set the camera right here, I can actually video it, and that's what happens. Uh, you know, I, I'm not uh, deliberately uh, saying. Uh, I'm not going to video it, and then no, no, in my mind, yeah, you are. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, it looks like we might have had a nice sunrise this morning, or or are going to have. Anyway, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, <laughs> it'll be at the end of today's episode. Yeah, today's episode is probably going to be short again because I have to. Uh, take this these down into the workshop I don't know if I'm going to drag a camera down with me there maybe I will because some people that may, maybe have that are watching right now that just started watching they've never been down in my workshop uh, uh, well I've got a what you might call a dream workshop I've got a fantastic woodworking workshop and in the far end uh, I've got what I call my metal room I've got a metal lathe and a welder and a, uh, a power hacksaw. <laughs> I can make anything I want, pretty much. Uh, I just don't feel like doing it anymore. That's the problem. Uh, yeah. But you know, it's it's kind of like, uh, I've said this before. You know these uh, uh, pickup trucks, trucks you see going down the road with the, with the big wheels on them? <laughs> well, you don't you don't need that to run around in the city, but it's it's nice to know that if you wanted to drive over the car ahead of you, you could. <laughs> well, it's kind of like that with my workshop. It's kind of nice to know if I want to do it, I can. And I used to do it. Anyway, uh, 
let's uh, let's uh, move on here. I'm going to have to be, as I keep saying, I'm going to have to be very, very careful. I will be so happy when these ships are finally in the case and the and the glass is on, and uh, they're protected. Um, yeah, I'm I'm getting clumsier and clumsier as time goes by. Okay, let's 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 get at it and see what we can do here. Uh, uh, I guess the next thing I've got to do is, uh, I guess, cut these appropriately. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you a thought ahead. I'll, I'll bring the camera in and, and show you on this what I'm thinking here. Okay, both of these are the same, so it doesn't matter which one I uh, show you on. But let's get this out of the way here. And I was noticing yesterday when I when I was taking these uh, down. Now let's not start swinging this thing around like a baseball bat here. I'm just trying to use it to poke my lenses out of the way. Okay, when I was uh, taking this apart, I was noticing that I had epoxy glued these these into place here. So so that I I know that that this is is really really strong okay so in other words if I was to cut it really close to where the joint is I know that it's not going to break out of there and in fact it, it would it would probably break off at, at the uh, right here where I'm where I'm pointing rather than actually pull out of the hole and uh, <clears throat> see if I can get down a little further here Okay, you can see here it's that that's epoxy glue. The reason I know it's epoxy glue is because I put tape on the back, so that when I held it, you know, glued it in like this, the glue wouldn't ooze out the bottom; it would stay there. So, it, in other words, it's a strong joint. <laughs> All right, so uh, take one of uh, Tennessee Jim's squares here. Show you what I'm what I'm thinking. So we would then try and have it so that I could cut it right up against the the uh, the string let me move this a little better the, the string here that I'm using to cushion the bottom of the uh, of the hull so it doesn't scratch it that was the whole idea of that so uh, all right now Did I get that square? No, I didn't. But anyway, I got it close. So then when I take this and put it on my table saw, I would probably come... I would ang First of all, maybe I'd angle my blade just slightly so that the blade would be... I'm going to exaggerate. It would be at an angle like this instead of straight up and down. And that way the, the blade is not going to catch on the string. Not only that, but I will have it so that it is just enough to come up through the... Through, well, you'll see when I do it because of it. I think I will take the camera downstairs. And, uh, okay, I can't talk and work at the same time, can I? Okay, but, but you get the idea of what's going to happen. Then the next one here. We'll do it the same way, and so on. Now, the one on the end... The one on the end here, you can you can see that it's that it's not 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 it's not really as long as I'd like it to be. However, the 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 weight prying prying down on this is going to be so so slight. I mean, these ships aren't that heavy that I don't need to worry about it pulling the screw out of the back of the case. And I'll put the screw right right about here, and it'll go through into the back of the case. Uh, at least that's the plan. Okay, that's the plan. Okay, let's uh, let's go down to the workshop and cut these. Now, as I was gathering my stuff up to go down into the workshop, I realized that any minute Missy's going to come by for her morning tickle and dog cookie, and I'm not going to be there. I won't hear her barking when I'm down in the workshop. So I phoned up my neighbor and I said, "What I'll do is I'll put the dog cookie on the corner of my delivery box." I noticed later the cookie was gone. So I guess Missy was probably not too disappointed. Uh, 
Okay. Yes, I'm mugging for the camera. <laughs> okay, I got these all marked off. I know exactly where I want to cut them. And I know my clock is not running, so you don't need to comment and tell me my clock's not running. <laughs> I haven't wound it in months. Okay. Oh, USS Constitution for you guys who actually want to, you know, keep this a model ship show. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I made that back on the... I'm trying to think of where, where what, what, what house was I living in when I made that? Um... I'm guessing I made it around 1983, something like that. Anyway, uh, yeah. Try and follow me, huh? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on in. Now I so gotta clean this place up. It, uh, what happens is I'll, I'll come down here and I'll, I'll cut something or do something or sand something and then I'll just drop everything where it is and I, I never used to be like that. My workshop used to be nice and neat. I might need help yet. <laughs> you know, it used to be a lot easier to do that. <laughs> okay. No. I think I've said this little speech before, but when I retired in uh, 2005, the summer of 2005, yeah, that was, that was my last day of work. I think it was May the 5th, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, anyway, after that, I spent almost my whole life down here. Uh, yeah, well, not my whole life, but I would spend six, eight hours a day. Uh, my mother used to phone me in the morning regularly to let, let me know she's okay, and then I would phone her at night. But when she would phone me, my phone would ring down here. And she would, I would say, hello. And uh, she'd say, are you in your workshop? <laughs> yeah, that's the way it was. Until almost five years ago when I dragged that piece of plywood up the stairs and uh, uh, you know we had the uh, start of the model ship show <laughs> otherwise this was my life uh, woodworking and a little bit metalworking towards the end however uh, let's uh, move this back here so I can get the camera in behind it and uh, you'll be able to see what I'm doing this, this thing weighs over, way over 500 pounds, but because it's on wheels, it's easy to move. Almost everything that's heavy, except the hollow chisel mortiser, is uh, on wheels. Okay. I'll put the camera right there. You'll be able to see what's going on. And I'll show you how not to do it. <laughs> Okay, if you remember, I was saying that I was going to adjust the blade so that it was just, just going to clear the top of this. Well, that's what I'm doing right now. That should be good. Uh, the idea is I, I don't want it to be catching on the string and ripping it out. 
So, uh, and we're going to want to do them this way. I, I will move you in nice and close. Yeah, here's, here's my lines. I, th I think I can get my, my head over enough to see that. Uh, I brought my uh, close looking at glasses here, so I should be able to see. Oh yeah, that, that's going to work just fine. Okay, let me... Uh, uh, I think the best thing is to change lenses so I don't have to have the camera right, right there. Um, yeah, just, just give me a moment here. Okay, I think we're all adjusted here. And, uh, just want to make sure my, my fence is going to clear the blade. I know that, uh, in the past there's been the odd time I forgot to readjust it after I had set it at a 45 degree angle and my uh, my fence is getting shorter and shorter. It's a good thing it's made of aluminum. <laughs> okay. I shouldn't I shouldn't have told you that. I want you to think I'm just a perfect woodworker. Nothing ever goes wrong. Okay. Now. Just kind of doing a dry run here. I just want to make sure I can see exactly where that line is so that I can you know, get it just right. All right. Um, I might have to, this, you know, I, I know that I have, a, I have a tendency to hang on to something really short like that. I don't know if I want to on this case, just in case it catches and wants to go down inside there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a couple of swaths of this uh, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take uh, two or three swaths and just slowly shorten myself up to the line and let the, let the pieces go down and get sucked up by the uh, uh, dust collector, which is actually louder <laughs> than the saw. Okay, I'm going to need these, that's for sure. Okay, are we all clear here now? Is everything all hooked up? Is my hose still on? Yep, hose is still on. Uh, <laughs> When you're not down here every day, like, like you used to be, you kind of forget stuff. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll, I'll move you in. I'll move you in. Okay, I'm going to do the exact same thing with the uh, with the other one here. Uh, okay, you get the idea. Okay, now the idea is I want to drill a hole 
as close to the top of this bracket as I can. So I've set myself up a bit of a jig here and I think it's going to come out more or less in the right place. So uh, You know this room, it's uh, not filled with uh, really nice tools in as much as it's actually filled with really nice memories. Yeah, really good memories. Uh, okay, let's uh, go back up to the model table. And if you're wondering where is the model table in relation to where we are right now, I'm, uh, I'm basically sitting right underneath it. I'm, I'm pretty much where my chair is, <laughs> upstairs. So let's, uh, let's go back upstairs. Okay, this is the uh, paint that I used earlier. I've had this paint for a lot of years. <laughs> uh, but it's still working. And I probably have a smaller brush somewhere, but I don't have to go down to my workshop and look for it. So I'm just going to use this. And uh, all I want to do is just cover up the bare wood. May as well do top and bottom, I guess. This 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 should dry really quick. I hope. Oh, I was going to do the bottom too, wasn't I? Okay, I think that's going to be all right. This stuff dries really quick. I probably end up having to put these brackets on this evening now. The sun is shining. What's the temperature? It's uh, plus 1.2 Celsius. Might want to get out this afternoon for another little bike ride. All right, let's just let those let those dry like that. And we'll get everything put away here. Get our lid put back on. I might be able to use this again. Um, don't worry, I will fasten the lid down properly, but I want to clean out my brush here. So, uh, uh, maybe what we'll do is we will take out uh, a minute or two and uh, and see is the USS Iowa actually going to fit on that bottom shelf. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Just let me clean my brush here first. Okay, my plan here now is to have the Iowa sitting as close to the edge of the glass here as possible. Actually, the, the edge of the glass will be right here. And uh, so I, I don't want this green cloth actually visible, but I want it to come about where the center of the of the hull is going to be more or less, just so I can slide it around a little easier. Otherwise, I'm going to have a bunch of white paint on the bottom of the uh, hull red. <laughs> so uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to try and get back here with the uh, with the uh, Iowa without dropping it. Bear with me. 
Okay, I gotta swing it up over the camera here. All right, now are we gonna fit? Or is this gonna be a disaster? Okay, now I'm gonna put the bow right up near the front there. Now I have to pick it up underneath here. I don't think there's anything sticking out the back like there is on the uh, on the uh, on the other one. No, this isn't wanting to go too good here. Oop! Maybe I'll do it like this. Put it right. Put the bow right up there. I have to lift it up and over. There we go. Okay, it's going to make it. Yes, it's going to make it. There's about a quarter of an inch to spare. For those of you who uh, can envision a quarter of an inch. And it's about, about this much to spare. So, uh, and there's half of that now on each end. Okay, I, I think that's going to work. I think that's going to work. Okay. Um, thanks for watching everybody and all being well we're gonna see you tomorrow